Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing week. How many Easter eggs have you had so far? Because it's almost Easter at the weekend and I've only had one, which is really good for me because usually I buy like four before Easter even starts and I eat them all straight away because is there any better chocolate than Easter egg chocolate? I don't think so. How many have you had? Let me know in the comments because I need to live through you because I need my chocolate fix. I'm trying to be good but I don't think it's happening. So yeah, so today's video, you probably guessed by the title, I'm gonna be testing the Revolution Fast Based Foundation Stick, which is just this here, and I'm sure you've seen it all over YouTube because I have. That's kind of why I wanted to do it. I'd seen it everywhere, and I was like, okay, I need to test this out, and I've never used a foundation stick before, so I'm also excited to test it to see what it's like. And I'm really, really excited for Revolution's new pro range coming out they look amazing judging by the videos that i've seen around i'm really excited to get my hands on some of the eyeshadows because they look insane i was watching both does nails video the other day testing them out and oh my god the pigmentation of the eyeshadow looks insane so yeah i can't wait to get my hands on that so let's just get straight into the video i've already done my eye makeup and eyebrows because i thought i would just get those out of the way because it's all about the foundation today so i wanted to spend a bit more time on this and testing it out and testing the different methods of applying it and see which which works best for me so let's give it a go when i've been watching videos of using this i've seen people apply it just by swatching it on their face i've also seen some people take a brush and put it on this is the first time ever using this so i don't know which is best for me so i think what i might do is apply it straight to the face on this side and then maybe apply it with a brush on this side i'm not too sure let's see how we go also i got this in the shade f3 so I'm hoping it works for me, but we'll find out. Let's just tuck this out of the way and let's get into it. Also, excuse this giant mountain of a spot that's on my lip. I don't know where this came from. And also how dark it is in here today because it is such a crappy day, but what can you do? I live in England and it's always like this. I'm just gonna take it on my face on this side and see how we go. I don't really know how much of this I'm supposed to put on. That's maybe a good amount to start off with. So I'm just gonna take a damp beauty blender and try and blend that into my face. And by looking at it, I think it the shade is actually the right one for me. I mean, that looks pretty good. Although I think I might have to apply just a bit more. And it blends into the skin really well, actually. Actually isn't looking too bad. Why am I sat with my hand like this? isn't looking too bad. I probably put a bit more on there. Maybe put some on my nose. Just maybe a bit a bit more on there. And they said it's a medium coverage and I definitely think it's true to the description. But judging by how it's blending in, it does look very buildable. And I'm not hating applying this with a damp beauty blender actually. Out of the foundations that I've used applying with a beauty blender, this is probably one of the easiest ones. It's just really like smooth and glidey. Wow, I'm actually really impressed. I didn't think it was gonna be this, what's the word? Good? Is that like, I don't know. I'm really, really impressed, especially with the color. I mean, that shade, I like that. This might be a new everyday foundation. Bam, Gina, bam, Gina. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on this side, I'm gonna apply it with a brush just by taking it on a brush like this and put it on my face. I've seen a few people do this and I thought mm, I might as well test it out so get the best of both worlds. I can make a decision of how well I should apply it. Oh I already don't like this, it just feels funny. Oh no see not a lot of product is actually coming on. Like I feel like it's more just sticking to the brush. I mean it's still applying well. Like it's still there, but I just definitely feel like applying it straight to your face and with a beauty blender is probably the best way. For me anyway, obviously everyone's different. And then just take some on the foot. Oh, I got my hand. Trying not to rub up my eyebrows. I feel like it's really, really matte as well, which is good because I love matte foundations, as you know if you watch my videos. But I have heard a few people say that during the day, after they've worn it for a while, it kinds to go really oily. But I think that is dependent on what skin type you have. So if you've got oily skin, then yeah, it's definitely going to go oily. But I have quite drying skin, so I don't know how this is going to act 
throughout the day. I mean, I'll probably leave a comment below telling you how it went up after wearing it all day. Looking at it, I'm really, really impressed. I definitely prefer applying it straight onto your face and with a beauty blender rather than getting a brush and taking it onto your face. Um, I'm happy with the colour. I think the colour is perfect. I'm so happy I went with F3. Like I said, it's very matte. It's very medium coverage, which is great. And like I said, it looks buildable. Right now we have no problems. So I wanna finish my makeup and see how it looks when everything's finished. Next, I'm gonna go in with concealer. And I tried so hard to get the um, Revolution Concealer, you know, the Shape Tape dupe. I tried so hard to get it, but it just wasn't meant to be because in store it was sold out, online it was sold out. And when I went back again in store, it was still sold out and I even asked the woman and she said we haven't had it in for like a month and I was like super drug what are you playing at I really wanted it for this video to like match with the foundation but it's okay we don't need to worry because my rumble wake up's gonna gonna save us What I want to do is just set all this with my Maybelline Matte Maker Powder. So I'm just going to pop this on and set it on my face. And my skin actually feels really lightweight. Like it doesn't feel like I've got foundation on, which I love because nobody wants to feel all cakey and just like bleh. Once it gets to the end of the day, you already want to take your makeup off anyway. So you don't want it to get to like two hours later of wearing your makeup and just be like, oh my God, I just want to take it off, but you can't. So that is all set. So I'm just going to go in with some contour and I'm just going to take the Revolution Contour Pro kit and I'm just taking this one here, my fave obviously, and pop it on my cheeks. Okay, so now I'm all contoured. I think what I'm going to do is maybe pop a bit of lipstick on, or actually not lipstick, I'm going to put on the um, PS Lip Liner in Peanut Butter this one here and just pop it all over my face not all over my face because that would look ridiculous all of my lips just as like a lipstick substitute because I'm obsessed with it it's like a velvet teddy dupe so I'm all about it at the moment okay so that is lip situation done I am definitely definitely loving the foundation stick I think it is just such an easy product to apply it blended really well with the beauty blender and it's only five pound so you can't really complain can you i think you get like six grams of product in this which for foundation you know it's usually like 30 32 like mil but for five pound and it's a tiny stick so you can't put that much in really can you otherwise you'll be having like towers of foundation and you can't put that in your bag you can't like i said i will leave a comment below after a few hours or when it gets to like the end of the day just to say how it handled itself throughout the day and that is everything for today's video so give it a thumbs up if you liked it leave a comment below tell me how many easter eggs you had or if you've tried the foundation and what you think of it don't forget to subscribe and i will see you all in my next video so